क्यू श्री एच के दुआ वाइस चेयरमैन आई I intend to speak on the President's address debate on the aspects which have been neglected by the House, that is, on foreign policy and security areas, while there has been emphasis on domestic situation and economy. Sir, we as a nation are given to underestimating ourselves. and some sort of cynicism also develops in our capability the fact is that in 67 years we have emerged as a big powerful nation the vision of the founders of the republic initiated years in investment in the country capital investment i am talking of and investment in foreign policy we have been having a sort of national consensus on foreign policy and this cannot be changed and not by any government in power years ago we were considered as a poor country then we became for years developing country and now we are called emerging economy that is the change that has happened emerging economy to be guided by aspirant classes etc etc three economies are going to matter USA China and India whatever the order may be on one question the consensus has emerged among all the parties that India should emerge as a major economic political and nuclear power of the 21st century there is no difference among the political parties irrespective of their persuasion and dispensation but what is not realized is what it requires to be big nation that is not understood wisely it requires considerable economic strength it requires considerable military strength and it also requires considerable national unity and national cohesion on the last point particularly there have been some disturbing trends and the need to be checked as urgently as possible if there is no national cohesion there won't be national unity and whatever the strength you may get by economic development by this strategy or that strategy or whatever the military strength you have by acquiring more weapons or manufacturing more weapons if there is no national cohesion national unity will be disturbed we will be wasting our energy on social tensions which are not being attended to we also require a few years of total peace around us in the neighborhood <coughs> look at chinese after deng xiaoping not that i am great follower of uh, other people's example we have to live by our own uh, own judgment and our own situation but they decided not to have too many tensions and concentrate on economic development concentrated on social development whatever the results may be and it has paid dividends to them we also need to attend to serious problem like lack of social cohesion at the moment and these disturbing trends i think they should be curbed immediately otherwise they can go out of hand and if you don't have those that national unity behind this economic and political and nuclear strength you will not achieve the aim of emerging as a major power of 21st century and it is time we don't waste we should realize that we don't have much time to waste others will overtake us it was good idea on the part of prime minister to have invited prime ministers of neighboring countries to swearing in ceremony to his swearing in ceremony with pakistan <coughs> except for pakistan other areas have not been have not been disturbed pakistan nawaz sharif could not deliver because on one side he has terrorists and other side he has army rule but we should be understanding of that situation and i think the foreign secretary's proposed visit to pakistan i think it should be 
supported by considerable political will so that the process of peace around should be around in our neighborhood should be stepped up but i'm afraid with other countries in the neighborhood we have not followed up the promise of the swearing in ceremony prime minister did go to bhutan he did go to nepal couldn't go second time the minister of external affairs visited dhaka china also and visits have taken place japanese came chinese came obama has come it's that's a putin has come but they needed to be followed up particularly in the neighborhood i suppose there is not much follow up with nepal not much follow up with bhutan possibly we think well we don't need to follow anything follow up anything there that may not be so with bangladesh the two issues are pending which i thought as our responsibility to have sorted out one is tista waters a deal done that's the latest phrase which we heard the deal done a deal done we have not not seen through it because we could not reconcile differences with with west bengal government i think some attempts should be made to live up to our promise to give tista waters to bangladesh here is a friendly government in bangladesh friendly to india you have to strengthen its hands and if you don't give these the waters and do other things i think we are harming our national interest on land boundary luckily it is out of the standing committee of and i think the earlier it is implemented the better it is question of a few villages whether they are on this side or on the other side we are large enough countries to be generous and our wider national interest lies in the land boundary agreement being ratified and its ratification involved is not a new agreement that has been to be arrived at sri lanka luckily there is a positive turn for india i hope this is being encashed i think the foreign office must be aware of it it is being encashed the positive turn after a long time but indian indian ocean situation in general should be of utmost concern look at what is happening in maldives somewhere down the line i'm not blaming abcd previous government or this government that's not my argument somewhere down the line i think we have we seem to have lost influence in indian influence in maldives while chinese are more assertive in indian ocean we need to be careful about our evolve a clear cut indian ocean policy i'm not saying we should come out with a sort of a monroe doctrine that kind of thing is not but we should be careful in investing our foreign policy security policy and give considerable attention to the indian ocean on west asia we don't have an answer yet those 39 people are alive or dead two possibilities were thrown up in this house and the minister of external affairs said well both the versions are there we don't know which one to believe one gentleman who had escaped from there and his he had given both the versions but i thought the government should make more inquiries to find out what has happened to those 39 people the families in punjab particularly wherever they are i think they need to they are being kept in suspense about whether they are alive or no more there and the house should be taken into confidence of what happens but that's not the only thing we need to have a clear cut policy on west asia india's neighborhood is not just wagha border we have to look up to our borders extend from right up to from singapore malacca states right up to suez so we to have particularly in west asia where we have 6 to 7 millions of indians living there our oil comes from shia power, shia power iran and sunni power saudi arabia both in conflict with each other i think you need to evolve a very active policy so that there can be peace in a wider arc of our own india if we want to be comfortable in pursuing our policy our 
I just take one minute. I am conscious of the time. Certainly we have improved relations with uh, Japan. Obama's visit has gone very well. But we would like to know, does this 49% of investment in defense which has been promised, does it lead to import of critical technology which we wanted from America and they were denying us? We are not sure of that. The deal doesn't say much on that. And defense agreement also has not been released so far, although it was signed earlier. Or may not be. I don't know whether the, what is the status of that. It has not been released. On some other issues also, there are some questions about the... There have been two statements by the companies concerned, Westinghouse as well as Hitachi GE. They have expressed reservation about the insurance pool proposal. Most probably the insurance pool proposal for compensating in the case of a mishap, nuclear mishap, will be accepted. But the companies which are to give us the nuclear reactors, they have that reservation. I don't know how serious is it performer noises they are making or they are real. It needs to be clarified. On the whole, the visit has gone up very well. I don't know how the Russians or Chinese taken. We should be taken into confidence what is our feedback from Russia or and China to our dealings with Americans. Thank you very much. Thank you.